In this video, I'd like to introduce you to complete graphs. Now, in a complete graph, every vertex is directly connected to every other vertex. So, for example, if you just have, let's say, if we have a table and uh, we've got two nodes, okay, then it would look something like this. You've got two nodes and they are directly connected to one another. So if we looked at the total number of edges that we have, then there would be one. So one edge. Now, if n is 3, then you would have three nodes or vertices, and each one is directly connected to the next one. And so in total, there are three edges for uh, n being 3. Then for n is 4, we would have four nodes, and each one must be connected to each other one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, then these two must be connected, and those two must be connected. Okay, so how many do I have? Well, I've got 1, 2, 3, plus 1, 2, plus 1. So in total, there are six. Okay, now before we go any further, there is a notation for complete graphs that we need to be aware of. So the complete graph with n vertices is referred to as kn. Okay, so this would be k2, this would be k3, this would be k4. Okay, right, let's go up to k5. So it is 5. We're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 nodes. Right, let's count how many edges we would have. So we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we're going to go to this one. 5, 6, 7. Then from this one, 8, 9. And then from this one, 10. So in total there are 10. So, with this one, you might have spotted the construction that I went through, okay? So let's try K6. Now, you might want to have a guess about how many edges this one's going to be. So what would K6 look like? So one, two, three, four. Let's try and draw it relatively symmetric. Five, six. Okay, so I'm going to start with this vertex here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so we've got 5 plus, now from this node, we've already connected those two, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we go to the next one. We've already connected those two. So, one, two, three. Then from this one, we've already connected those three, so we're going to go one, two. And then from this one, one. So, five plus four plus three plus two plus one. And so for six, the total number of edges would be 15. So we start off with 1, then we add on 2, so we're going to get 3, then 6, then 10, then 15, and again you should be spotting that these are the triangular numbers. So once again, just as we had for the total number of um, comparisons required in uh, the bubble sort and the, uh, the shuttle sort. Um, we also saw it in the quick sort algorithm as well. Uh, we've seen it in bin packing. So we keep on coming back to this. So we have a formula for the total number of edges in a complete graph. And that would be 1 half times n times n minus 1. So when n is 6, we would have 1 half times 6 times 5. So a half of 30, which is 15. So this 
is a formula for the total number of edges in a complete graph.